What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about why Roman Reigns is getting some heat on social media right now. Apparently, some people feel that he's transphobic and homophobic. Now you're probably asking, why would they think that? Well, if you watched last night's segment, Roman Reigns made a comment to Seth Rollins. He basically called Seth Rollins a crossdresser. Now, people took offense to him calling Seth Rollins a crossdresser, and now people want to be fake outraged on Twitter talking about Roman Reigns is homophobic and I get that he's a heel character, but being homophobic and transphobic, that's that's not cool. Look. What I've realized about the wrestling community, the wrestling community picks and chooses when they want to be outraged about something. For example, if you guys remember, there were some people that felt that the Rock and uh, Roman Reigns segment last week uh, took too much time. It was like a 40 minute segment. And then because of the segment being so long, they felt like the, I think it was Naomi versus uh, Tiffany Stratton match was cut short or whatever the case. So they felt like the women's match was cut short because of that long promo segment. And they started, you know, going on this rant that WWE doesn't really care about the women's wrestlers. I saw it. I kind of passed by it because I'm like, it's nonsense. Obviously, that segment was the segment that people wanted to see. And if they had to cut some time from certain stuff, then they will. And, and I, I don't I don't I don't understand how people can feel that way when literally some of the women's matches have been highlighted on both Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. Hell, Rhea Ripley just main evented a pay-per-view in her home country. What are we talking about? But that's neither here nor there. That's the fake outrage I be talking about. People just spin a narr narrative to fit whatever they're trying to push, okay? And this is more or less the same. I remember vividly Roman Reigns in the past talking about Seth Rollins wearing his wife's clothes. I vividly remember that. And everyone made a joke about it. It's a ha ha he he. The same guy calls this guy a cross dresser and now people feel some type of way. If you guys look up what a cross dresser is, it is a, a is, is a person that dresses in the opposite sex. So if a man is dressing in women's clothes, that would be a cross dresser. He didn't say anything negative. He just called him a cross dresser. Like, I'm you supposed to be listening to a guy that wears his wife's clothes? Like, it's a joke. It's not that serious. He's a heel. I'm so confused on, on this fake outrage. Really, this is what we're going to get outraged about. This is what we're going to get mad about. Really, this, of all things, to be mad about in this world. Roman Reigns calling Seth Rollins a crossdresser when he's called him, when he, where, he, where he said in the past, you wear your wife's clothes. It's been a running joke. We know Seth Rollins be wearing some wild and flamboyish type of stuff. We've seen it. We make jokes about it. No one says anything. But because Roman Reigns decides to say, you know what? You're dressed like a cross. You dress like a, uh, you're, you're a cross dresser. Now it's a problem. And, and, it, and it was just a passing line to show Roman's heel character. He was literally just talking to Cody like, you gonna let this cross dresser speak for you? Like, come on. What are we doing? <clears throat> what are we doing? I'm just trying to understand why someone we get that upset over that one line and now people want to cancel him or, you know, label him as something. I, I just want y'all to understand this. Roman Reigns doesn't give two fucks. WWE don't give two fucks. TKO don't give two fucks. No one cares. Everyone that's involved in that segment last night didn't give two fucks. You want to know why they don't care? Because guess what? <clears throat> People are still going to watch it. In fact, I'm pretty sure the people that felt some type of way about what Roman said, they're still going to watch the main event. They're still going to watch WrestleMania. And if you don't, guess what? They don't care. They're making the most money they've they're making like they've made in history. There's, the product is booming. A lot of people are interested. A lot of people want to see what's going to happen. They don't give a damn. They don't care. It's just this fake outrage culture that's so lame. Anytime something happens 
on a wrestling show that a group of people don't like, they try to push a narrative on it. Stop it. Now, if it's justified, it deserves to be, you know, there deserves to be some attention to it. But if it's not justified like this, this this is nothing. Like, I don't get it. Like, we really live in a world where people feel some type of way if you boo a wrestler that's not good in the ring. Why are you booing a wrestler that's not good in the ring? That's mean. Why did you call him a cross-dresser when he wears women's clothes? That's mean. Do you think Seth Rollins give a damn? No. These guys are making millions of dollars. They don't care. And y'all are sitting up here legitimately trying to start this, this fucking woke movement. Wait, you're going to cancel Roman Reigns? He's not getting canceled, guys. I wanted to talk about it, and some of you guys have asked me to talk about it because I, I just thought this was just... I didn't want to believe it. I saw one tweet last night, but I was like, there's no way this is going to catch on, right? And I woke up this morning and people are legitimately having this discussion because Roman Reigns calls Seth Rollins a cross-dresser. Y'all trying to cancel someone for what? I saw someone say, oh, that's too far. Oh my God, y'all are just so sensitive. There's nothing wrong with fighting for a cause but I, I don't need, I just don't like when people try to push that fight and narrative on shit that really is not that deep. And they try to make it to be something that is not. I'm all for people being inclusive. And I'm all for people wanting to feel inclusive. I'm all for that. I'm not here to promote hate, but I'm also not here to promote forced agendas either. Stop it. Stop it. Please. For the love of everything that's holy, just stop it. It's wrestling. It's not that serious. Relax. Jeez. And I see the comments. Oh, yeah. They, people are saying, oh, yeah, these people would not survive in the attitude era. No, they wouldn't. Because that was a different time period. That was a different time period for social media. Not even social media, just media in general. Most of the people now would not know what to do. Because back then, people really didn't give a fuck. Like, truly. So this era of, of media that we're in right now is, I, I don't want to be that guy, but it is the softest era because you literally could say something that someone don't like and then they deem you insert phobic. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> insert phobic. Whatever phobic that they can create, they will put you in that category because they don't like your opinion on something. And now people join the bandwagon trying to cancel you and no one gets canceled. You just dry tweeting just because. But comment down below, let me know. How do y'all feel about Roman Reigns calling Seth Rollins a cross dresser? Did that really offend some of y'all or it doesn't bother you at all and it's not that big of a deal? Y'all let me know how y'all feel down below. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still going to be the YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.